Hey, Tower Crews, we're back with another safety session. Nick Black, RCR Wireless here, speaking with Matthew Vincent, safety coordinator for Eastern Communications again. And we're going to talk about free climbing and, you know, free climbing your way out of a job. Really, um, Matthew's compiled some statistics over the last few weeks on the uh, fatalities in the industry, and uh, overwhelmingly, it's just because of free climbing. Um, Matthew, if you'd like to go ahead and go into it a little bit and how, uh, y you know, free climbing is just, it's never... Okay. Yeah, I, I started looking into this. Our, our company started paying attention uh, big time to how many deaths have been happening so far in our industry this year. Uh, after the ninth one, uh, we just said this is too much. We, we got to make sure that at least the bubble of our company, the little you know uh, environment that we're trying to control here, uh, that our guys at least understand what it is that, that uh, climbers out in this country are doing to themselves really. Uh, to cause all these deaths, all these spikes. Uh, when you hear statistics that uh, the tower climbing industry kills 10 times more construction workers uh, than all other construction combined, uh, you know, that's a scary statistic. You know, that's mostly based on the fact that there aren't very many tower climbers in the industry overall. So that's a percentage, but still, that, that really speaks boundaries. And when we started looking into these things, uh, I got 55 causes of free climbing in the past 10 years. Uh, 19 guys died that you know, you know they were either alone on the tower or nobody saw you know what the actual cause of their death. So most likely they were free climbing because they did mention things in the stories uh, about how you know all of the gear was on them at the time that the inspectors arrived to you know find their body. So these are huge. I mean everybody likes to point to oh my gear is bad or this guy wouldn't buy me more gear or whatever the thing is. Uh, only three of the deaths in the past 10 years was because of equipment failure. Then again, seven of them were equipment failures because the person wearing the equipment caused the failure. They did something wrong uh, in their actions. But really this boils down to the number one uh, tower climber killer is free climbing. And it, it goes on all the time. It's a horrible thing. I mean, when I got started in this industry, as a lot of these guys have, uh, free climbing was taught. I don't know if a lot of you remember the, the Nate video back in, like, 02, where it told you how to safely free climb. Well, they've since caught on and pulled that video, and it doesn't exist anymore for training. But, you know, this was the world that a lot of us stepped into. But when you understand that the OSHA regulations requiring 100% connection have been aground since 1970, well, then you kind of wonder you know, who allowed the first bunch of, of climbers to think that free climbing was acceptable and then teach that on down the line. So it's really a personal decision amongst each climber. You're told don't free climb. You're told your company's going to get completely fired off a project if you're caught free climbing. You're told that you're going to lose your job if you're free climbing. And it still happens constantly. I, I, I started doing uh, investigations like on these uh, uh, Facebook pages for tower climbers and things like that. And these guys are throwing themselves under the bus by posting pictures of completely unsafe actions. Oh, look how cool I am at the very tip top with no fall protection. you got to be kidding me, guys. So, Absolutely. I mean, like we had talked about before, do you think it's part of the reason that they're free climbing is how we touched on before, they don't feel like they can work fast and save. You know, you like in the last time that we talked, the deadline excuse that comes up, Really, at the end of the day, you can climb fast and safe. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, it's it's hard to figure out and get into the mind of each guy that thinks that this is okay. Most of the thing I think is the the basic reason is because guys are coming into this industry, whether they're getting trained before they're released to the field or not, they're still learning from the guys out in the field that they get sent onto a crew with, and there's already a wildfire uh, problem of guys out in this industry who think that free climbing is fine. There's no real big problem with this. Um, it's I, I do it all the time, and, and I got my guns, and, and that's going to be all I need. Well, then comes the brand new guy into the field, and he's going to learn from the, the, his coworkers, who probably learned from their previous coworkers, who learned from guys before them who figured out how to do this stuff on their own without taking the safety requirements into account. So it's it's a huge problem. It's already feels out of control, and we got to do something to to bring this back around. 
Right. I mean, really, uh, what what I'm hearing is that the awareness and um, you know the ways that people climbed in the past are getting passed down still. Do you think that that's slowly phasing itself out? Does, from your experience, are people starting to really get it, or is it just as bad as it was, say, you know, five years ago? I'd like to believe that it's getting better. Um, it's definitely gotten better in our company. We had problems when I first got here, and, and it's just individual guys work out here, and some guys don't, uh, because we hammer that point right down. Uh, we show up and we make sure that our guys are operating properly. If and these guys are, they know flat out. If they're caught free climbing, they're out of a job. And you know, uh, who knows which company is the best to work for? And maybe that company's got better things involved, and you're more motivated to keep that job. But it shouldn't be about what a company has to offer you. This is free climbing, guys. You you fall from this, you you make one little mistake, and you're dead. Okay, this is, I mean, if you take the free climbing out of this, this causes a list of statistics here, you don't have very many deaths. I mean, it, it chops over, you know, 75% of the deaths right out of the mix. So, I don't know, it's, I, I really hope that other companies understand how big this problem is and recognize which guys are the bad apples in essence and, and allowing this, this uh, thing to get out of control. So it really sounds like, you know, between a mix of awareness, proper industry standards, and people starting to realize, you know, it's just not worth it, um, is going to be the only route to, to lowering the deaths in our industry. Yeah, training is huge. Uh, awareness from the, the management's perspective and how they, you know, require you to act out in the field. And then foremen who continue and enforce those requirements down on their guys. And then the guys who make the personal decision to climb correctly. Always make those connections before you disconnect them. Uh, there's always a place to attach to. If access is a problem, there are many, many solutions that can uh, solve your problem for you. Uh, controlled descent, area work platforms, cranes, whatever. Nobody likes to hear the cost of taking that next step. A crane's pretty expensive, but if that's what's required to complete the job, and you're the last guy to, or the you know, hell, the first guy to figure this out, and you're the climber. Well, you did a good job by noticing something that no one else did. You can raise the flag to say, hey, uh, there's no safe way to get to the place you're telling me I got to go. So we need to work together as a crew and as a company to figure out what is our solution so that free climbing isn't the way to go. Well, Matt, you know, I, I really appreciate your time again today. You know, just 100% connection all the time is what I'm hearing. Let's, you know, bring some more awareness to it. And um, with guys like you out there, I'm sure that the free climbing will slowly start to see a descent. I hope so. Thank you very much.